Hello, welcome to Mr C's Biology. Today we are talking about the lungs again, and we're talking about adaptations of the lungs. So what we have here is we have uh, an overview of the lungs that I shrunk down from the last time, and we also have the zoomed-in version of what's actually um, at the end of my bronchioles, what's actually an alveolus look like. And so this is one here, and um, it would have a few of these gathered together. And some of the key things about this alveolus is that it has a really, really thin membrane all the way around. It's only one cell thick, and that means that um, substances can pass over it really, really easily. And it's the same with the capillary as well. They have this one cell thick only membrane, so it's very, very thin, and things can easily transfer across. More about that in a moment. Um, there's also a really large concentration gradient, so um, air is constantly moving in and out as we breathe um, in and out of the alveolus and the blood is constantly moving along um, as our heart pumps it and so there's always new blood coming in and um, blood that's been through the lungs going out all the time and there's also a really large surface area with this, this kind of spherical shape and the fact there are so many of them mean that uh, about 15 table tennis tables worth of area is down inside the alveoli. If you leave this all out, this length all out, we've got about 15 table tennis worth of tables, which is pretty crazy if you go for table tennis. Now, uh, we said already that air moves in and out. Common misconception is that oxygen moves in and carbon dioxide moves out. Nope. Both of them move in and out, but when they get in, then that's when the exchange happens. Uh, so when the air's in here, that's when the carbon dioxide leaves the blood. So some of it's carried in, in red blood cells, some of it's carried in the plasma, um, mostly in the plasma, but it moves from a high concentration where it's in the blood into a low concentration where it is in the air by diffusion. And then it moves out the lungs with the rest of the air um, as we breathe out. Oxygen, on the other hand, is in a higher concentration in the air in the lungs than it is in the blood, and so it moves from a high concentration to a low concentration by diffusion into the blood. So that by the time blood's leaving, uh, the red blood cells are full of oxygen, carrying their regulation for oxygen molecules each. And so even though um, air moves in and out, oxygenated, air with slightly more oxygen comes in and air with slightly less oxygen and more carbon dioxide goes out but the air that's coming in still has some carbon dioxide in and the air that's going out still has some oxygen in as well. Those are the main adaptations of the lungs. See you next time for some more biology. Any questions, put them in the comments.